guys welcome to my channel my name is Smith the reason do if you are new here and today it's actually the first of July but we're gonna do my what I have accumulated in the past month of June so it's a mixture of what I have bought and a mixture of PR I haven't bought too much uh, this month I've just been a little bit on the down low I've got a couple things but I think we'll notice most of it is PR that's kind of it. So I'm going to start with what I purchased first, tell you my thoughts. I also have been getting sent a little bit of fashion. So I don't really have the capacity to show you my outfits in this filming space um, because the wall is right there. Like, There's just no way you're going to get a full body shot. So I'm actually going to insert my little TikToks so you can see the little outfits. But I basically got sent, I'm wearing this um from proud poppy it is the cutest little cardigan chocolate brown and then i'm wearing it with a brown matching brown skirt and i'm going to be wearing it with brown boots so after i film this my husband is a photographer so he's going to take some photos so we've got a studio there and a little mini studio here we've converted our dining room to two different studios we've got youtube and we've got photography <laughs> It's very funny. Okay, so um, yes, so I got some outfits from Proud Poppy, which is an Australian, very colorful, even though this isn't colorful, everything else I have is quite colorful, very inclusive. I think they range from size six to, let me double check, from a size six to 28, there you go. Um, and they are Australian, family owned and operated women's fashion boutique. Everything is really fun. So that's why I've got this makeup look to suit all these beautiful brown kind of cool. When I say cool, I mean like winter tones. So I did not film this look. I did it just for this fashion over there. But if you do like this, I'm happy to redo it. It's basically everything from my um, everyday makeup drawer. Um, so yeah, Proud Poppy, you and all, which is like more a little bit oh they're also australian 16 to 24 so they specialize in plus size that's really cool they're a little bit more they remind me a little bit more of asos a little bit more younger demographic and proud poppy is kind of like my age and above i want to say like 30 late 20s above so those were things that i got sent and i will i've probably already inserted said videos so i bought two brands i bought one item from mco beauty this is the new miracle hyaluronic tinted serum i have already uploaded the video where i use this it's the newness video that i did and yeah so this is the dupe for the l'oreal tinted serum and i want to still do i haven't done a proper comparison of each side i that's something i have in my to-do list like a little short i'll do a little youtube shorts um, to just do a side by side and see if there's a difference. People are saying like, what's the point? L'Oreal is drugstore. L'Oreal one is like almost $45. So this one is 35, but both brands go on sale. So it is technically cheaper, but I understand. It's not like it's Charlotte Tilbury where it's like originally $80 down to 35. So, um, but I still got it because I love Enco Beauty and I like to compare products for you guys. So I bought that. I wanted to get the bronzing drops, but uh, that sold out real quick, didn't it? I was totally going to buy it because I have the original de bronzy bronzing drops um, from Drunk Elephant. Um, but they're still out of stock. I cannot get it. So I was a bit late on that one. Usually I'm really fast, but I thought, oh, I'll be fine. I underestimated the popularity and I should have known like I work at Mecca and every day we get asked about the bronzy drops okay so next purchase is from P Louise it's that's all I've purchased is these two brands um, in the whole month so go me I've been such a good girl but you know I still bought like I'm not I'm not in the clear so I bought three of these Cheek of It blushes from P. Louise. I've been following these. I've been wanting them. I've been waiting for the restock because they all sold out. Um, I even asked Glam Raider if they were going to stock it and they said they can't get their hands on it. So once I saw P. Louise restocked, I bought from them. I got three for £25, I want to say. Uh, which was a deal. So they were £15 each or like three for 25 which was like pounds. So good. So I bought three. <laughs> this was the one that I originally wanted, the Cutie, Cutie Cake. 
so really really pastel you will see in the video that I just talked about I used that foundation and I used I swatched all the blushes but I used the next blush I'll show you really really faint really faint so I need to play with it to figure out how to actually have it show up on my skin um, and then this is the one I wore in the video which is ballet slipper so they look a little bit more like they'll show up on on like the doe foot or the sponge but it really kind of didn't show up <laughs> but this one will so I tried this one in a TikTok video um, I will put it up as a YouTube shorts I just haven't edited it yet you know you're gonna have the time and energy that I like <laughs> so this is the color coral morals this one is bright we don't have an issue with pigmentation on this one and I bought it because it's so vibrant but it shears out it's really really pretty I could have even worn it today I would say it because it doesn't look this intense it kind of went a little bit pinky it was really really pretty and then I bought an eyeshadow palette. I rarely buy eyeshadow palettes. And when I do, of lately, they've been like smaller ones. Um, I kind of don't, I've never really been a big fan of big palettes. I do have a few that I like, can't live without. Um, but generally I like smaller. I don't even like mid palettes that much. I find it overwhelming. Anyway, I digress. This is the P. Louise Date Night Palette. And it's me. If I were to ever create a palette, I've already thought about this. It would be reds, pinks, and greens. It would basically be this palette. <laughs> so if anyone wants to collab with me, here's my inspo. Um, but basically, I just love these khaki tones. And then I also love like the cooler tones up the top and then the warmer tones down below. But they're still very muted colors, still very wearable. Like that is very wearable. That's very wearable. That is very wearable. I haven't even swatched it yet. I just don't even, I'm not ready to swatch it. Like, I think I want to swatch it on camera live when I do a video. And I just know I'm going to love it. Like, I know I'm going to love this shimmer so hard. And I'm actually okay that there's only two shimmers because you basically just got two looks. And I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine with that. You could definitely mix it up if you wanted to. But... Oh, I just think it's so pretty. I've not seen anyone talk about it. And I just think it's perfect. I just think it's a perfect palette. The rest is PR because that's all I bought. Believe it or not, that is all I bought. Uh, let's start with the fashion. I haven't got any footage of this yet because it's underwear. I don't know how I'm going to take photos of this because it's like see-through. But I'm super keen to try it. This is from Nala, which is a new Australian underwear sustainable underwear brand and it's all comfy but cute so i got this bra um actually no that's not going to show my nips oh that's cool maybe i could i'm just not really one to show my whole body i like fashion but i'm not really just personal preference do you but for me i'm just not at that place but i've got to find a way to show this i got the size 20 double d i'm hoping that is fine um and this is the color midnight support wire free bralette it's called so this can be found on wearnala.com i will have it linked down below but um their marketing their products all look fantastic they actually launched a new color called pistachio and uh that looked really nice so i got the bra and then the matching underwear and it looks like it's going to be so comfortable i intentionally haven't worn these so i could show these brand new on camera and i got the 3xl in the underwear so that is the kind of underwear i basically wear comfortable but still like still cute you know it's not ugly uh, next I got from Chanel. Hold your horses. Hold your breath. I got something from Chanel. Couriered to my house. Hand delivered in a Chanel bag. I was just like, this is too much. This is too much for me. Basically, they did a collab. The Mademoiselle Perfume did a collab. Or when I say collab, feature of the Love Want magazine. And the new face of uh, Chanel Mademoiselle is Whitney Peak. So this whole 
magazine. There she is on the back with Mademoiselle. Absolutely beautiful. Is that her? She looks so different in that photo. I think it is her. Um, <laughs> and there's just a lot of Chanel advertising in the magazine, but it looks really cool. Um, so they sent me the magazine to read. And I got this beautiful bag. It's like a felt, but like a nice felt. It's not like the felt from a craft store. I don't know how to describe it, but it's on that level, but more luxe because it's also lined. And then I'm too scared to use it though because it's white and it's a fabric. So I'm 100% going to dirty it. Like, and then I got the Chanel hair perfume, the Mademoiselle hair perfume. And this is so cool. This is my favorite cocoa fragrance. In saying that, I haven't smelt them all. I really want to smell the green chance. I haven't had a chance <laughs> to smell that. Um, but here's the hair perfume. So cute. It smells exactly like a perfume. <sighs> cocoa. Can't go wrong with cocoa, can you? So very lucky to have gotten that. I tell you what, when I got an email from Chanel, I almost fell off my seat. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Bondi Sands have a new Technicolor One Hour Express Self Tan. I will 100% be using this soon. I have already given away the two darker shades, but I will show you everything here. So basically you can do a test on their website to figure out which shade you are. I am Sapphire. So it is for a natural cool tone. So basically if you have fair skin, you're all the sapphire. If you have light to medium, you could go emerald and then um, dark and deep. So I think dark and deep could do these and then light to medium can do these. Uh, so I gave these away to my friend and then these two I will keep because I've never really done an olive tone tan. And being that it's a one hour express, I reckon I could, I want to give it a go. Because I feel confident in the sapphire, using the sapphire, but I want to take a risk and I want to try the olive tone. Um, so, sapphire, emerald, magenta, caramel, love the shade names. Uh, four unique color enhancers. So the idea is that it's enhancing your already skin tone. Does that make sense? So, giving yourself a nice glow. And I love that. Today, ladies and gents, we have Madura. Earl Grey, not a fan. Bought a 50 pack, I'm down to my last five, so go me for something that I didn't like. It's just got no, you know how Earl Grey has that um, floral aspect to it? It's just lacking that. It's just a little bit flat. It's a little bit disappointing and I can't wait to finish it and treat myself to a new one. I'm going to go off the recommendations you gave me for an Earl Grey. I, this wasn't sent to me, but I want it at work. I got a Byredo fragrance, guys. So I was a good girl at work and I got to pick something out and I picked out this fragrance. I could pick between this and the flower head. I didn't really like flower head. It's just not my taste in fragrance. Uh, so I decided to get mixed emotions and this I'm going to share with my husband because it's very unisex. So the notes on this, what's this little card? Oh, it's just like about by Rado himself, Ben Gorman, very talented man. So I now have Young Rose, which I love. I have Boulder Freak, just a little bit of Boulder Freak. And now I have mixed emotions. I really want to buy Mojave Ghost. That's my favorite. Okay, so mixed emotions. Let me pull up the notes because the whole idea is it's supposed to give you mixed emotions. Uh, and it did. At first I was like, I don't know if I like this. And then I wore it on my skin and I liked it better on my skin. Um, is it the most incredible fragrance I've ever smelled in my life? No, but I can see someone falling heavily in love with it because it's a very very unique scent. I feel like you either love it or hate it. The notes are right up my alley though. We've got Mate, which I believe is a green leaf. I think I looked it up and that's what it was. Black Currant, Ceylon Black Tea, love tea accords. Violet, love violet. Birchwood and Papryas. Is it Papryas? Papry... Papryas, Papryas, Papryas. 
one of those. Mixed emotions is a scent designed to reflect the tumultuous nature of our times, a desolation of highs and lows, mirror unstable realities, and a world in flux. Comforting notes of mate or mat, don't know how to pronounce it. The sharp sweetness of cassis sits among wooden notes. The reassuring scent of black tea colliding with violet leaf synthetics. A refreshing reminder that it is okay not to be okay. I love the whole story behind it. It's described as an androgynous woody scent. To me, I really smell the black currant in a licorice way, which is really strange. Yeah, so the black currant, you know how like sometimes a black currant has that weird aniseed to it? That's what I get from it. I get the woody, I get the black currant, like I, I really smell the black currant. The black tea I feel is not initial. I feel like I smelt the black tea, I can smell it in there. It's so true that it's mixed emotions, like I just don't know what I'm smelling. But then when I read the notes, I smell everything that it says. I love that there's violet leaves in there to just take that heaviness away because it's heavy. It's not, the notes read really light. It's not a light fragrance, but it's fresh at the same time. It's very confusing. It's a hard one to describe and it's perfectly named Mixed Emotions. So I'm so grateful that I have that. I'm just so grateful that I get to experience all these different fragrances like i didn't never knew that this would be my future like i could never have imagined that i would be so lucky to get all these own all these beautiful fragrances and products all these products i'm getting today i used to work in community services i used to get nothing but a kick in the teeth like i like i this is still amazes me that i get this stuff and i'm really small like the people that are really big on social media, whatever platform it is, holy moly, it must be very overwhelming because I'm overwhelmed and I'm on a small scale. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention I had the Bondo Sand Self Tanning Deluxe Mitt. I haven't even opened this. Oh, excuse me. That's a little bit cute. That's the Fetch Colors. They're trying to steal my branding. Hey. Next from... The Kind Collective, they have a new lip balm and lip scrub set. It's watermelon scented and it smells so damn good. Oh, it's got co the watermelon scented lip balm has coconut oil, avocado oil and shea butter. It's just clear. It smells like watermelon candy. Yummy. Love it. And it's really, really, oh, I'll show you. I'll give you a swatch. I just want to go on my top. It's got a thickness to it, but not glossy. It's very much like, just like a hydrating balm. This would be a perfect one if you don't, if you just want nourishment. Just want nourishment. Good for day, good for night. You could layer it up at night, but you could make it thin enough for the day. I think it's a really nice option. Um, and it's Australian, which we love. And then the lip scrub looks edible. I literally want to eat it. I probably could. It's probably just got sugar in it. Don't eat it. Don't take my advice. It just smells good enough to eat. And because there's sugar in it, it makes me want to eat it. This just has that sugar feeling with some oil in it. So it's not going to hurt you. It's just going to hydrate but exfoliate at the same time. And then Frank Body has sent me two parcels in the past month. Um, we have this little set here, which is the ceramide set. We have the super ceramide barrier oil, which is really nice and light. If you're not someone that likes a heavy oil, this is what I'd recommend. It's clear, but it's light. You know how some oils feel really heavy? This kind of disappears. Not a dry oil, but on the border of a dry oil where it's just really lightweight. Um, but it's still an oil and super ceramide barrier oil. So it's going to be protective and it's um, adding in ceramides, which naturally occurs in our skin and keeps our skin youthful and plump. So that is what ceramides is acting to do. And then you can um, put the super ceramide night cream with it. No scent, nice and lush. It's just a really nice affordable range. And I'm a big fan of Frank Body. I love everything they do. I always recommend it at work as well. 
Uh, and they're Australian, which I love as well, but they're killing it overseas, I think. Seal in your serums with ultra nourishing cream. Use me every evening as a final step in your routine. So thank you to Frank Body for that. And then they sent me another parcel, which I'm so excited for. They sent me the glycolic body scrub. I just need to finish a couple other body scrubs. I want to finish my Necessaire. Um, I got that one from Oat Body that I want to finish up before I use this, but I'm super keen to try this because it's glycolic. So this is actually going to be perfect for uh summertime for me so i might even i definitely want to try it before summertime but that's kind of what i'm thinking i'll benefit from because in winter time i get scaly but it's more i need more deep clean in summertime because we get sweaty it's a bit gross you know but then they sent me extras they sent me like five extras or four i think maybe four uh, so I'm going to put one in the giveaway that I'm building up and I'm giving one to my friend who I know will love it. Then we have some makeup. If you watched my newness video, then you've already seen this, but who doesn't love watching a haul anyway? Alter Ego from the US of A sent me some eyeshadows. I didn't even know they sold to Australia. I had to email them and be like, are you sure? Do you know I'm Australian? Because <laughs> sometimes brands reach out to me and then they're like, oh, we'd love to send you stuff. And then you're like, yeah, cool, here's my address. And they're like, oh no, we don't ship to Australia. I'm like, did you look at my content? Did you turn the sound on? <laughs> anyway, that was not the case here. And they wanted to send me their new um, Midsummer palette and alter ego i'll have all these brands linked down below uh like i said they do ship to australia i have a discount code and uh if you do make a purchase i do earn a commission just fyi but i'll leave the discount below check it out because they do affordable dupes of our favorite brands and their eyeshadow palettes so i used this in the video i actually used it twice because i accidentally didn't film the eye look and then i had to do it again so i've used it twice so i've got a good opinion <laughs> uh, i really enjoy this palette this is a dupe of the anastasia beverly hills novo palette really enjoyed it really easy to use beautiful packaging you know for something that's affordable it's got very nice luxe appeal to it like it feels like a good quality eyeshadow palette. So really grateful to be sent that. And then they sent me a few other things, which was so cool and I'm so grateful for. Uh, and they sent me this eyeshadow base that I am loving, absolutely loving. I'm a bit picky with eyeshadow bases because I have hooded eyes, but I also have oily eyes. So this I really enjoyed because it goes on silky, doesn't drag but then it dries down tacky. And then they also sent me some lashes. I'm gonna pop these in the giveaway because they're not, um, I'm not really a lashes person. And if I do do a lash, it's super natural just to add a bit of volume. So I'm gonna give these ones away to someone who would. I'm gonna give those away into the giveaway. And then they sent me two more eyeshadow palettes. So I got the Shadow Kiss, very, very exciting. Because this is a palette, I've always wanted the original of the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. We have the Alter Ego Shadow Kiss. Isn't it beautiful? I haven't even swatched it. I, I'm one of those people that I can't swatch until it's on camera because I just need that live reaction, you know what I'm talking about? This here is my color story. The others are too, like I'm, I don't have like a color story, but I am a neutral gals at heart. I do love these kinds of tones, like these torpy, I love a taupe. Torpy tones are my favorite, can you tell? I'm actually wearing the Torps palette from Juvia's Place today. Um, but this like middle row here has my heart. It has my heart and I can't wait to use it. Cannot wait to use it. So we got that one and then I got one more. What do you think this one's gonna be guys? If you had to guess what brand, what very popular eyeshadow palette is it? We've got some beautiful pinky purpley tones. Hmm. Maybe the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette? I think so. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this too. I've not owned any of these palettes like the originals. So I am so excited to try these because I finally get my chance to try these tones, these formulas. Like this sparkle shade here. Oh, it doesn't show up. See? it. 
In front of me, it's very pink. Are we gonna get it? In front of me, it's a baby pink, shifting purple. Oh, I want to really want to touch it. No, I'm not going to. Nah, just touch it. I'm like, what? Why not? <gasps> Mermaid. Mermaid. That's a topper shade. It's like translucent. Oh, I'm, it's not doing it justice. My camera is not doing it justice. Can we get it? Can you get the pink? <laughs> it's got a pink, strong pink, purple, blue. But it's translucent. <sighs> okay. Just the tiniest bit. Just the tiniest bit. <gasps> oh my god, that's ma it's actually magic. It's magic. Oh my god. I just love a shimmer. I just turned into a mermaid, guys. <gasps> oh. Well, if that's any indication of the rest of the palette, I am very excited to try that bad boy too. I always wanted to buy the Rose Quartz palette, so. All these palettes, they're just so expensive. Like, if you buy all these palettes, even once a month, it's $100 a month just on one palette. I like, guess it's, it's they're expensive. So, I am so grateful to have the opportunity to have these affordable, but still high quality options. Last but not least, we have a parcel from The Ordinary. Beyond excited to be have to have been sent these items. I have the Aloe 2% plus NAG 2% solution, which is a soothing serum for blemish prone skin. That is going to be wonderful. It's got aloe in it. I need to look it up more because I really want to understand what all these things mean, like NAG. I might say it in here. Anyway, so I'll definitely give that a go. I think that'll be a good summertime serum as well because it's aloe, so it's calming. I can tend to break out a bit when I get sweaty, so that'll be a great option for them. Multi-peptide eye serum. I did get this at the Priceline event, so I need to decide what I'm going to do with this one because I don't need two. I need to decide if it's going to be a giveaway or to family and friends. Um, I don't, a lot of people around me don't really use skincare, like, you know, the five, six, seven step, um, but we'll see. Okay, then we have the Ordinary, obviously, Natural Moisturizing Factors and Better Glucan Light Surface Hydration Formula, 100 mils, ooge. So this is, I'm guessing, just a moisturizer. That's huge. Actually, I got the um, TBH skincare. Their moisturizer is large like this too. And then I got the Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. What does this mean? I wish I knew what this meant. I hate not knowing things. And then on camera, I look a little bit idiotic. But they just have so many things that are very ingredients based. It's like, I guess it's impossible to know everything. I'm not like a skincare expert. I j I'm a skincare enthusiast, but I'm not an expert. So this is huge too. This is a 150 ml cleanser. That's huge. You definitely get your money's worth with this brand. I'll tell you that. So I'm so keen to try this stuff. I know a lot of you guys love The Ordinary and I do too. I've not had, I used to use a hyaluronic serum exclusively. That's everything guys. What do you mean that's everything? That was a lot. So I'm super eternally grateful. Look at my eyeshadow. I'm just in love with myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you don't think this is braggy. I just want to show you all the things that I receive, show my gratitude, show you what's new in skincare, makeup, fashion, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you all. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.